Hey everybody, welcome back to my videos. My name is Eric McGrew and I'm with Eric's Tree Service in Montrose, Colorado. And today we're going over the ART Snake Anchor. Now, this is a basal anchor or it can be used as a multi-anchor for multiple um, redirects and all kinds of things. I got the really long one, which I want to say was five and a half meters um, because I deal with some big trees out here. This thing is like really well made. Um, I mean, besides just the, the fact that they have a cool design on it, because it's called the snake anchor and they put a little snake head on it, but the stitching on this is just really nice. This cordage is really, really nice, and you can see there's a long single stitch all the way down it. They have really nice caps. I'm pretty sure that's like aluminum on this, this end cap. Um, yeah, I think it is. And of course, this is aluminum for the anchor itself. Um, if you don't know what this is, it, it has gaps in it ever so frequently all the way down it. And it's all the way down, you know, all the way through it until you get to the end, which also has a hole and an eyelet. Now, the cool thing about this for me was the following. So basal anchors are super simple to set up now. I mean, they weren't terribly difficult, but, you know, I, I always kind of like want to make sure everything is quick and easy. So in this case, I just throw it around, right? Just like so. You can flip it over if you don't want to rub the graphics off or whatever. Take the end. Once again, this one's really long because I deal with really big trees and that's what this one is designed for. You can, there is another one that you can buy that's not as long. So you can spin it. And then you just pick a So let me loosen this and bring it back around here. So you just cinch it down and then you just pick a, a hole that's the next one away from the next one away from the eyelet. So let me see if I can't get you over here. I'm gonna take you off the tripod. So you just pick the next eyelet past the hole. You wouldn't want to put it in there with the light. You wouldn't want to put it in that one with the ring rubbing on the carabiner. And um, so I do that and then I double it up and I'll show you that here in a sec. So you can still see that. Yeah. Let's change the focus exposure on that one. There we go. So you can see that better. So this is going to be my non-climb side, which I'll bring around the back of the tree just so I don't get confused. And then of course, you'll tie a knot. I'm using an alpine butterfly because that's just what I like to use. So, of course, dress and set your knot. Make sure that it's cinched down. Looks good. Parallel crossing looks good. Then, right? So now, I mean, technically, Assuming the branch and all that, I haven't even tested this tree yet. But assuming everything is tight, and I'll actually shift this around so the, the carabiner won't be hitting on the, um, what's it called? But you can also, on the trunk, but if you, you know, you can also adjust this so that it, further down as well, like this for instance, if you wanted it to maybe stay further away from the trunk, if it was going to stay further away from the trunk based on that adjustment, then you know that might be a better option for you. I'm setting up for a job, so this is just a real quick show of what I'm doing for it. Yeah, 
then you can take it put another knot once again just using an alpine butterfly because they're easy to tie and easy to undo and they're life rated if tied correctly and then you can put this one you know back down here if you want for instance and now I'm doubled up I'm backed up on this So the other cool thing about this system is that because each of these are stitched in between, this acts as a fall restraint. So if this was to let go, each of these stitchings would keep tearing until the force had been alleviated and you now had, you had come to a stop without a sudden jar of impact, right? The other cool thing about this is, is that it's actually rated for two people. So you two, you could set up like this one here and then another one here and have two people climbing off this same basal anchor if the tree will support it or if, you know, whatever the other varying circumstances are. But it can be used that way. Now, I won't go into the use of it as like a multi-sling or redirect or whatever right now because I've got to get this job done, but it can do that too. Um, you can wrap it over limbs and use it as a, a friction saver, a pulley saver. You can use it for redirects. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with this thing. And I got to tell you, I was super impressed with the quality. Um, I thought it was cool online, but man, the quality of this thing is like really, really nice. Um, so if you've been on the fence about a simple to use and quick to set up, as well as including safety features into a basal anchor system, I highly recommend this one. Um, I've been just tying off at the bottom and this is like really, really nice. So I definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, I've got the Positioner 2 by ART to check out and try. Um, and unfortunately I was sent the one that was non-swivel when I bought the one that was swivel. So I have to get that resolved, um, but I'll be bringing that to you. And also, I am using the four SRT, you know, my little my little chest strap. <laughs> um, it looks a little weird. It's a bit different to get used to, but we'll go into that in a different video. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, check out the link for uh, the descriptions for links. And if they're uh, Amazon links, they're affiliate links. I get a very small portion of what you buy in reimbursement for that or in commission for that really so you can help um support the channel through that you don't have to buy what is linked if you just use that link and go and uh look at stuff and buy something then i might get a portion of that too so thanks for stopping by and i'll see you guys in the next one